Welcome back everyone to the channel and today we're doing a little bit of a different video instead of my usual uploading schedule I'm adding this to the list of uploads today mainly because I want to react to the F123 uh, press material that just came out on the EA Sports F1 channel and there are two videos that came out recently six days ago we've got the Connor Sport racing team which is of course the breaking point 2.0 kind of project that got into the game so let's see what that's about and then we'll move on to the official reveal trailer that has some in-game footage and some of the stuff that we might be able to see in F123. So like this video if you guys are enjoying the content, subscribe using the red button down below, and let's get into it. So first off, we got the Connor Sport Racing Team 2023 reveal. This is a 8 minute and 26 second video. Let's jump into it then. Ooh, it's live footage and welcome to the um, the with new real car. f1 one of commentators anticipated reveals for some time okay We've already seen the red bull team with max Verstappen and sergio perez dominating the podiums hmm. and what an astonishing start alonso is having pulling aston martin into contention it's great to see fernando doing well i mean hey fernando alonso best rookie of the season and he is by far going to be the best racer of the year already i'm feeling isn't this the color scheme of the W series? The purple, the gold, the black? It, it feels very W series, doesn't it? Of course, you so can never write off Lewis Hamilton. Maybe the there's a female team. protagonist involved, I think. Okay, so it must be a new team joining the grid. The it's it's Devin Butler's the team, obviously, because I just saw Butler on the rear wing. The car will look great on the grid. Let's see how it performs. Is that Charles Leclerc? In Devin Butler, wow. They have one of the most Devin Butler. The there we go. Competition is welcome. It's great to see another team. Max Verstappen. Okay, so this now is the livery reveal, essentially. Devin Butler is now driving for Connor Sports, and that is so exciting. He's a cocky and mercurial talent, but we know that he has a massive potential to go along with that massive ego. Now, what are your feelings on that? He certainly isn't shy about um, coming forward with his opinions. He's quite abrasive with his style. He's quite an aggressive driver. You need a little bit of ego and that aggression in Formula One. I'm going to tell you, if I'm playing this, Devin Butler's going into the wall immediately into turn one of the first race that I ever play. Now, unfortunately, Connor Sports star driver is headed for the track and cannot be with us today, but we do have him on a call. Hello, Devin. Yo, Naomi. Hey, Dirk. Well, thank you so much for taking out the time today to call in. How are you feeling about the switch to this new team and this new car? Listen, it's great to be in a team that believes in what you can do and is uh, just <laughs> smart enough to get out of the way and let me do what I do best. I won't lie, it's been hard work bringing them around to what I like to call the Devon Butler way of doing things, but we're mostly, mostly there and uh, yeah, ready to hit the track. <laughs> Now, how do you no, I don't I don't know about this, but it feels very off brand. I mean, I know Devin Butler's voice actor is an actual actor, so it would have been nice to bring him on board. Like I know scheduling is an issue and stuff, but this doesn't feel very Devin Butler. I feel like Devin Butler's character actually is this evil, conniving and uh, really selfish kind of character. And if he had the chance to be on stage and reveal the car and show off his like uh, posture and prestige in the sport, I, he would be here, I think. So I know this is an AI image and it's probably hard to get AI on the stage, but it feels a little lazy to me that they didn't actually bring the actor to take part in this interview because it is the moment that you've all been waiting for the moment we've been highly anticipating okay. it's time to reveal the new team car connor sports i mean you've already revealed most of it but sure so there was 71 and 89 who's 89 i don't think aiden jackson was 89 in the breaking point series so um it's interesting i think devin butler was 71 and that's devin butler's car essentially you can see his um, daddy money coming into play, pretty Jim, much. The car is looking absolutely brilliant. I can imagine you're only excited to find have the covers off. I speak for everyone at Connor Sport here. Seeing all the hard work and dedication, the passion of the team, the quality of the engine. I mean, let's re rate this livery. I, it looks just poo, to be honest. Uh, I feel like I can do a better job uh, building a building a model out for this team, one. but it's just. Oh, the color scheme doesn't really like great colors, but the way they kind of patched it together 
just doesn't doesn't work for me it feels very elementary if you know what i mean will they show us more of the car later we'll see well i guess it's the same for us as everyone the key will be performance then it's a bit of okay like you could do better come on now it feels like again it feels very much like the w series promotion car doesn't it the purple the black the yellow because the w series essentially had the same color scheme i mean you can kind of see it here you see the yellow and the, the purple and the white and then th there, there's no real like black maybe a little black here on her like right there under the arm sleeves here perhaps so it's essentially w series but overall just the poo livery i i feel like there's so much better you could have done with it he has given us something unique his driver insight and he is so well respected in the f1 world not really just build this exceptional car and with devon i think we've got a potential future world champion Nah, I'm gonna bump him into the wall and destroy his career but sure so a load of nothing Essentially, okay, well, I got nothing out of that. Let's talk to an expert F1 commentator, co-founder of P1, and all-round super oh, fan. Matt Please Gallagher. welcome Matt Gallagher. What? Matt? Hi, X -X -X Matt. So G. It would be nice to see another team giving more established teams a real run for their money this year. It certainly will, and we can't wait to see it. Matt, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us today. Wow, all that? You brought XXX Matty G out here, Matt Gallagher? Really? All that just to make him say that? I mean, I'm sure Matt got bags for it, but sure. Okay, well, we are almost at the final lap of the show. And do what? You know Already? What your visor's up and your eyes peeled for more high-octane news. That's it? Really? Eight minutes and 26 seconds of just blabbering on about how an F1 team works, which everyone who's an F1 fan knows, or even if you're a beginner, you already know from just watching an F1 race. And... You've, I feel so sorry for Naomi Schiff, uh, for Dirk Chocolate, for um, Matt, and whoever this Tim Fellow guy is. I'm sure he's like an extra or the, uh, one of the developers in the game. But <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. What's Thank the point of this? Oh soon. my god, this was a waste of time. And the livery's poo too. But I think from the color scheme and the information here... I have a small feeling, and the fact that they brought out Naomi Schiff instead of like um, Martin Brundle or Crofty, which I doubt they, those two would do it, but maybe Ted Kravitz or Will Buxton. I feel like there might be a female element to this game, uh, especially with the W Series livery and then W Series ending and then F1 Academy taking over. I feel like that might be an element to this game that they're trying to push here. Uh, but yeah, overall, delivery... I gotta say is a uh, is bad um i'm so sorry that you guys have to see that all right since we didn't get much out of that uh let's try to head into this f123 official reveal trailer which came out of course two days ago i think um or yesterday uh so let's jump into this see what they are giving us all right let's see okay there we go there's the car in action Ooh, i think the damage model changed a little bit more precise to be a Order little more precise. Ooh. Anything is possible. They're really Second pushing the breaking point 2.0, aren't breath. they? Why are you hesitating? Oi, 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 oi. Okay, there we go. There's our big first piece of news. Sorry, I'm pausing this right here. There we go. Casper Ackerman's back. That's great. I wanted to see him back. I knew he was going to come back like a Kimi Raikkonen, you know? That was what we were all saying in Breaking Point 1. He's the Kimi Raikkonen and he retires. And then he's going to pass the baton on to either become Aiden Jackson's manager. That was my prediction. Kind of like how uh, Mark Webber retired and then became Oscar Piastri's manager. Um, so kind of similar uh, pa uh, path. But this seems like dad is taking care of his daughter. Okay. F2. That's great. Because we're all going to start in F2. Ooh, engine issues. Ooh, Charles Leclerc. Okay. Ooh. Drama. Oh, that's a challenge. That That's going to be a challenge in the Breaking Point series. They're going to be like, oh, you had a poor pit stop. Now try to fight your way back up to P5 or maybe even P2 or something. Get on the podium. 
Yes, finally, red flags. That was what we were all asking for. Finally, red flags. Ah. Oh. They've finally heard our calls for the past five, six years, ever since the red flag got scrapped in the game. Let's go. Now we need to see if Aiden Jackson makes an appearance here. I want to be the best I can mm. be. Max Verstappen. Does not seem to be like he wanted to be there, but sure. Hey! Is that Aiden Jackson? Yeah, it is Aiden Jackson, isn't it? Or is that... It's a different model. Might be a different second driver though. No, it is Aiden. You see 89, Aiden on the on the uh on the race suit. So it is Aiden Jackson's back as Devin Butler's partner in crime here. More drama. Not everyone survives in F1. You know that. Yeah, you see maybe his daughter is reserve. The question hmm. is to break very nice okay and that's that i think there's a lot to dissect out of this so let's go back a little bit here like let's take a look at this playback speed let's drop it down to 0 0.25 look at the look at the car damage model here i think that changed a little bit it doesn't in the current game it doesn't splinter this much you get the end plate ping off and then you have the front wing kind of bounce off uh, most times the front wing itself just clips off all on its own so you got three components to the front wing when you crash the end plate the whole front wing and then the other end plate but now it seems like they added more of a crunch factor or like debris factor which is quite interesting i wonder if this is actual in-game footage it does not say that it is so it might be just footage that they conjured up for this demonstration but if that is the case, this looks tasty. And of course, you got to put Las Vegas in the game here, man. This is looking nice. So we're going to get Vegas as one of the tracks uh, to race at, which will be nice. So this guy must be the team principal of Connor Sport, which is, of course, known. Okay, yeah. So Casper Ackerman is actually team principal here. He is at the pit wall. So he must be team principal. You got Devin Butler as probably the first driver because his name's on the bloody car. So he probably got daddy's cash to put him in the first car seat. And then Aiden Jackson as a second. Um, and then I guess the bald guy from the beginning is not actually the team principal, but maybe the CEO like Zach Brown, you know, or maybe even Toto Wolf kind of guy. Uh, so yeah, so right now it seems like Casper Ackerman is the team principal. And otherwise, I think the trailer's straightforward. Um, yeah, nothing much else to look at. It just seems like they've just remodeled the cars to fit the current liveries. Um, but I think the highlight is going to be this because it seems like Casper Ackerman's daughter is going to be involved in some capacity in the team. You see Devin Butler talking to her as well. Possibly even this Connor Sport team having an F2 team. I don't think so though. Because if we look earlier on in the trailer, we see her racing in F2 as a champion. So she's probably going to be the prospect. Um, and then she's probably going to be challenging Devin for that seat at Connor Sport. And maybe even Aiden Jackson in that seat. And I guess that's where this drama will start to build. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for Breaking Point 2.0 because I really liked Breaking Point. Um, despite a lot of people like slamming it down, I feel like it was a good kind of new element that they were trying to experiment with. And it's I'm happy to see that it has developed. Maybe they have taken inspiration from DTS, uh, which I'll be happy to see. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to play this. Let me know what you guys think down below, of course. But I am most excited about the prospect of what driver career mode, my team, those kind of series will be able to, uh, how we're going to be able to build those series in this uh, game. And also, I wish there were more cutscenes in uh, driver career mode in my team because in the past, there was a cutscene where you go to the media pen and then you would answer questions there instead of these events happening on site like you'll be back at home base and then all of a sudden you get this notification like uh, reliability department event or media department event and then you have to choose your rival and stuff but in the past with f1 2020 i think 
um, there was actually a cutscene where you would walk in and then you would answer some questions and then you'll be like, thanks for your time and then leave. Uh, so I wish they brought that back. That was a really neat kind of ev effect that I think really made this game cool. But then they scrapped it and then they put it into breaking point. They had the model in, they had the animation in, but they just didn't want to put the effect in into my team and driver career mode. So... I don't know. Um, hopefully there's more to it. And then again, what I also want is this uh, open world NBA 2K or like FIFA uh, player career mode kind of scenes where if you're changing teams, you get to shake your hand and uh, maybe go through some physical tests and then hold up that jersey and, you know, handshake media, you know, reveal kind of thing. I wish that happened in this game as well. But so far, I'm pretty satisfied with I have and this is me saying that this is the bare minimum i like to see i wish it would exceed that limit but we know ea and codemasters are kind of conservative on that front so we'll try to keep our expectations at a reasonable level here but i'm i'm seeing some good stuff here i am seeing some good stuff so let me know what you guys think down below about this game if you guys are gonna buy it or not it is going to go live on june 16th so i'm happy that it's coming a little earlier than usual because it's usually at the end of june or towards the end of july but they've brought it forward i'm excited i'm happy to be starting a driver career mode my team series on there and then if breaking point is a thing which it is i'm happy to play through that so let me know how excited you guys are down below like this video if you guys are enjoyed it subscribe and i'll see you guys for a real gaming video later on today see ya